Hey, friends, today we're going to be drawing Mickey Mouse. Clubhouse. <laughs> Come inside. It's fun inside. <laughs> Yeah, we just got back from our awesome vacation to... Disneyland! Yeah, we went to Disneyland. That's our favorite place on the earth, isn't it? Yeah. It's the happiest place on the earth. Yeah! <laughs> we love Mickey Mouse, and we thought it would be a lot of fun to draw Mickey today. We've gotten a ton of requests from you guys to draw him, and we've never done it, so we thought it would be fun. Mm -hmm. Also, today is... Monday! Monday, and that means we show your art, so be sure to stay till the very end of the video to check out all your awesome featured art. If you want to be featured in our next Monday video, have your parents take a photo of all the art you've done and be sure to put it in one photo. Send that one photo to us. What's our email address? Myart at artforkidsho.com. Yes, myart at artforkidsho.com. Also, at the end of this video, we are going to announce our next art contest for this yeah. month. Yeah, so be sure to stay for that. Okay. All right, dude, you ready to draw? Yeah. We hope you have yeah. a mark. <laughs> we hope you have a marker and some paper in front of you, and you're gonna follow along with us. We're gonna try to keep this lesson super easy and simple. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to use a marker, you don't have to. You can use a pencil. And if we go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can pause the video. All right, let's start. Okay, we're gonna start with our paper up and down, or portrait, or horizontal, and we're gonna start with drawing his nose. Right in the middle of the paper, we're going to just draw an oval like that. And I'm going to draw it kind of small so that we can fit his whole body in there and his arms. And then also color it in. Good boy. Good job. Now we're going to draw a rainbow line that goes over his nose. And that's a little line for his, his nose, his little mouse nose. Okay, now we're going to draw an oval, a very tall oval, for his first eye right here. And it's really tall and kind of skinny and comes down and almost touches that rainbow line that we first drew. And then we're going to leave a little gap on the left side. Oh, you're drawing a little U. I like that. Then we're going to, I'm going to do the other, the other eye over here the same way, same height. Come down, touch the little, the little cheek or the nose line. Oh. There we go. And we left them, so they're little backwards seats, and we left them open here so that we can put a sideways V to connect it and close it. There we go. Now we're going to color in his pupils. And that little V is like how we draw in our cartoons the light reflecting in his eye. We usually draw a little circle that we don't color in. This is that same thing. It's just a different style. Cool. That looks awesome. Okay, now let's draw his mouth. So we're going to come over here and we're going to draw, or put a point, and this point is going to be pretty close to his nose line over here, and then we're going to be a little further over on this side, a little further gap, bigger gap. Good. Now we're going to draw a U shape, comes down, connects to the other point, connects those two points together. And I got a little wobbly, so let's straighten it out. Here we go. <laughs> Starting to look like him, huh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, <kinda. laughs> okay. Now we're gonna draw a little rainbow line here for his cheek line, and another one over here on the side for his other cheek line. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna draw his mouth, and it's gonna be open. So we're gonna draw another U shape right here. And I started over here past his nose, and then came under his nose, just like that. Now let's do a little U, or sorry, M. Curved M for his tongue, and we can color in the top part of his mouth, but leave his tongue white. Now it's starting to look like Mickey. Yeah. Now let's draw his bottom lip, and it's just going to be another U shape right next to his mouth. And I'm going to come up here pretty close on both sides. So come up a little higher. There we go. Okay, now we're going to draw his head. It goes all the way around, and we want to try, we could use a template to draw a perfect circle, but I think we should just freehand it. Okay. okay, so it might look a little wobbly. <laughs> Here we go. So we're gonna just go around and we're gonna make a circle. It goes around and kinda goes high above his head. Mm. And I'm gonna pick my oh pin my up a couple times. <laughs> That's okay, keep going. <laughs> keep going, it's fine, we're practicing. And if you guys at home wanna get a template, that just means like something that's the right oh. circle size. Oh my goodness. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, he's got cheeks. <laughs> and look, mine's a little bumpy too. It's totally fine, dude. It's okay. 
We're all right. We're having fun, right? Yeah. That's the most important thing. And I think it's good to practice drawing circles. Look at this. I'm trying to smooth out this line. So let's see, I've got a couple bumps and that's okay. But we could get a template or something that was a circle and we could put it over and we could trace it if we wanted to. But that was easier and funner. <laughs> okay. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's put a little point right between his eyes. We're going we're gonna to add some more details and it'll make him look more like Mickey. So we're, let's put another point right here above this cheek line and another point over here above this cheek line. And we're going to do a big the big design that's on his face. So a big curve that goes up and over. And this is going to turn into an M. Oh. Another curved okay. M. You know what? I'm going to curve this out a little bit further. Like this. There we go. And then we're going to do the other oh. side. It's like a mushroom to me. <laughs> a mushroom. <laughs> there we go. We'll do the other side. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Okay, let's do his cheek line right here. I think it's good that we're practicing and we make we make things not exactly how we want them to look because we can do it again the second time and it will turn out better the second time, I promise. Okay, now we're gonna color in the side design. So this the black part on his head over here on this side, above his eyes and on the other side of his head. All right, we did it. We did his head. Now, if we put his ears in there, he's totally going to look a lot more like Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's do another circle up Ew, here yeah. for his other. And this one is not a perfect circle. It actually has uh, little corners up here in the top right and on the left. And so we're going to draw, but we could just draw a circle to make it easy. So we'll draw this one, and then we're going to color that one in. And then we're going to draw the other one over here, too. And we kind of want them, we want them to look about the same size. One's a little weird. That one's a little weird. <laughs> and the cool thing about coloring them in black is that you can kind of, you can work with them and kind of redraw that line because you're going to color it in. All right, so let's fast forward and we'll color in his ears. Good job, we did it. Okay, now let's draw his body. So we're going to come to, and then what we're going to do his arms last. So we're going to draw a little curve that comes out under his chin, and then another curve just to the side of his chin. And then we're gonna draw a big U shape to connect him, and we're gonna go past those two lines. And that's for his shorts. His shorts are a little bit bigger than his body. Yeah, it seems like <laughs> they would just fall down instantly, but. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, okay, now let's draw another curve that comes down, and this is gonna be, uh, for the bottom of his shorts and we're going to do the same curve on this side. We want those curves to look look exactly the same, identical or er, symmetrical. Now let's draw his legs. So we're going to curve out, a little curve on this or line down on this side and a little curve out on this side. Okay, and then we're going to draw his first leg and this is going to look like a 7. So we're going to draw the top part of the 7 and then come down for the bottom of his short or the side of his shorts. Good. Good. And then we can connect this side in and then good. And then we're going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and connect this one. Okay. Now let's draw his legs. So this side will have a leg coming out the bottom like that two lines that come out. Okay. On this side, let's draw two lines coming out and I'm going inside his shorts, the leg of his shorts. There we go. And then on the top, we're gonna do a little curve. Okay, now let's do a curve on the bottom of this short, or sorry, this leg. And that's for his shoe. And then on this one, we're gonna do a curve going the other direction. Good, okay, now let's color in those legs. Okay, now let's come back up here. He's got two little buttons on his shorts. So an oval this direction, and then an oval going the other direction. Nice, good job, perfect. Okay, let's draw his first shoe over here. And this one's gonna be aimed up in the air like he's taking a, a step. 
So we're going to do a little curve that comes up to the middle of his shorts and then starts hooking back down. Okay, good. Okay, now let's draw the heel down at the bottom. And this is going to be a curve, kind of a J shape. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to do a little U right here. And this is for his heel. Good, and then we'll connect it. The top, perfect. And then we'll do a little step up. Okay, and then we're gonna do another step over here on this side. Perfect. And then we're gonna do a big upside down U that comes up for the top of this shoe. Good, and then you come back down. It's all right, keep going. And then Kurt, oh. just, you can just curve in. That's okay. <laughs> okay, no, it's good. This is awesome. And we're practicing. We It'll turn out better the second time we do it, right? Yeah. And we do a little cur little line there for his heel. And then I'm also going to do a little curve up here. And then we'll do a little curve down here for the bottom of his heel. We did it. That looks awesome. You did a good job. Now we're going to draw his other shoe over here. So he's got a little donut shape that goes around the top of his shoe. So we'll do a little curve that comes around. It's a little sideways U or a C shape. Donut. Donut. And then we're gonna draw the other side on this side. Looks like a donut. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, and then we'll draw his heel. Another little curve. Now we're gonna draw the front of a shoe. And this is gonna be a funny shape. And we want it to curve up and then back down. And we want this length, this shoe, to be the same length as this shoe. Good. Okay, and then we can connect that funny curve to the donut. Good. And then let's draw the bottom of his shoe. So we'll draw a little line that comes out. And then we're going to curve back in. Good job. And then let's draw the heel. So it's just going to be comes down, over, and back up. Awesome. Now this line right here, I'm going to curve it under a little further. There we go. We did his shoes, and you did awesome on both of them. Good job. Okay, what's he missing? Um, his arms. His arms. Actually, let's come up here, and we'll color in his belly first. Okay. <laughs> All right, now let's draw his arms. So this first arm is gonna, it's gonna be coming out of the side of his head. So it, we're imagining it going behind his head and coming out over here. So we'll draw one, curves up, and it comes re really close to his ear. And then we can do another one right next to it. We're, we're gonna start close to it and then flare out. So it's gonna get thicker as you get further away from his head, good. And then we can curve, do a little curve to connect it. And then let's color that in. Good job. Now let's do the same thing over on this side, except it's going to come out a little lower. So I'm going to curve it right here. Nice. Good job. And then I'm going to draw mine. I'm going to draw above this one because I drew it a little low. So I'm going to start wide again. Oops, a little wider. And then come in above. Good job. And then we're going to draw that same curve over here to connect the end and then color in his arm. On both of his arms, he has the donut shape that's like down here on the bottom of his shoe. And so we're gonna draw a little donut over here. And there, so a little curve there, and then we're gonna draw the other curve on the other side. It's got that little donut shape. Okay, and then we're gonna draw his thumb first. So we'll draw a curve that bounces like this, and it bounces up for his thumb. Good, that's good. And then we'll draw a little curve for the rest of his hand. Okay, and now we're gonna draw a curve down here for the bottom of his hand. And then we can draw this line, there's a little rainbow line, and this is this is this line on yep, on your hand. So it makes a little wrinkle when you kind of close your hand together. But let's draw his fingers on there, okay? So I'm gonna draw one, his pinky finger first. Okay, and then two more fingers. So he only has three fingers. 
So this one is going to be a little longer. So we're going to be above it and curve out just a little bit longer. And then that last finger is going to be overlapping and it's going to be a little shorter than the other ones. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do the same steps over here, but slightly different. So we'll do that donut first. There's a little glove. Okay, and we can draw that curve. The thumb. Draw the thumb that bounces up. Good. Now we're going to draw the bottom of his hand. Oh, we forgot the little thumb line up here. The rest of his thumb. I might run out of room. So we got the curve down at the bottom too. And we got this curve up here. Now we're going to draw that little U upside down U or the rainbow line. Okay, and then we're going to draw a little line that kind of almost connects the two like that. Okay, now we're going to draw his first pinky finger. And then this second finger is going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to come almost all the way. Good. And then the last one will overlap. It will be shorter than the other ones like that. Good job, dude. You did awesome. Give me five. He looks super awesome. And I said it a couple times in the video, yeah. but we're practicing. It's okay that our drawings don't look perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Because the most important thing is to have fun. Yes, to have fun. We hope you guys had fun following along with us, but we need to color them. Yeah. Okay, let's pick out our colors. All right, this is going to be pretty easy. We're just using yellow, yellow and red. Yellow and red, yes. Because <laughs> most of them is black. All right, so red on his shorts and yellow on the two buttons and his shoes. Yeah. Ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it. Right now. Don't forget to color his tongue. Yeah. Good, good job, man. That was pretty easy coloring, huh? Yeah. We forgot one thing. Let's get our yeah. markers. <laughs> we forgot we got to draw his tail. tail. Yeah. So I'm going to draw a line that comes out straight. And yeah. I'm going to aim it a little bit down because it's supposed to come out of his shorts. But if it's behind him, it's coming up a little higher. Oh, my gosh. No, it's yeah. good. No, that's good. I, I probably should have done that. All right. So I'm going to draw the little line that comes out. And then we're going to draw it curve around and then like this. It's a little stylized cool tail from Mickey. There we go. We did it. We got his tail in there. I'm Finally glad we got the tail. <laughs> glad we didn't, I'm glad we didn't forget his tail. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Mickey Mouse with us. Remember the most important thing is to have fun. Yes, is to have fun. It's not important that your drawings look perfect. It's important to practice and to have fun. I promise the second time that you do your drawing, it'll turn out better than the first time. And we had a lot of fun on our vacation, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We thought it would be fun to share a few clips from our vacation with you. What was our favorite thing to do before we did anything else? Eat breakfast. Yes, eat breakfast. Breakfast was our favorite. Breakfast. <laughs> so this first clip is our favorite restaurant at Disneyland. You guys hungry? Yeah. Yeah, where are we gonna eat? Uh, Rancho Del Zalacalo. Rancho Del Zalacalo. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, me neither. Yeah? Where's it at? Where are we at? Uh, Frontierland. Frontierland. The best eggs. Adventureland! And tamales, right? Adventureland. Adventureland. <laughs> Here's the menu. What did you get in, Triggers? Um, tamale again. The tamale? Yeah. The tamale is the best. And then we also get the Mickey Mouse pancakes. And I think we should try the biscuits and gravy too. Because I love that. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks so good. Biscuits and gravy. Tamales. American. What's this one? Fajita? Fajita. And... Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse pancakes. Does that look good? Yeah. You ready yeah. to eat? Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. Are you hungry? You want to eat your bacon. Mmm, those tamales look so good. Mm. I could take another biscuit and gravy right now. Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> 
All right, well, we can't talk about Disneyland without talking about our favorite rides. Yeah. And our most favorite ride was? Tower of Terror. Yes, Tower of Terror. And Austin and Hadley even did it this time. It's their favorite ride, too. And it's now their favorite ride. They love that ride. Uh -huh. And that's in California, right? Yeah. Our second favorite ride was what? Hyperspace Mountain. Yes, they changed uh, Space, Space Mountain, Mountain to into Hyperspace Hyper Mountain. It has Star Wars stuff in it. Hadley and Austin also rode that with us. And it was Hadley's... Second, second favorite, favorite ride, too. Austin's awesome second favorite. Yeah, they loved it, and I thought they were going to come out crying. Yeah. <laughs> and then our third favorite ride is... Splash Mountain. Yeah, Splash Mountain. We rode that thing, like, how many times? Five. Five times. We rode that so many times, and we kept getting the Fast Pass because we loved it so much. Uh -huh. So this next clip that we're going to share with you is actually from Splash Mountain, uh -huh. right? You guys ready? Yeah. Austin, awesome. you excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Check. Check. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Where are we going? All right, here we go. Hey, this time I'm not gonna hang on to you, okay? Okay. So you're gonna go flying out of the ride. No, you won't. Don't fly out of the ride. Hang on. You got a good grip? You hanging on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? I didn't think I dropped my Oh! Oh! <laughs> That was awesome! Best ride ever! Best ride ever! Best ride ever. <laughs> it's done! It's done? No, it's not. It's just getting started. And here comes the medium drop. Wait, no, what? it's the first drop. Taking all the water. You're welcome. <laughs> Did you have fun? Is that awesome? Yeah. Is that your favorite ride ever, Austin? Yeah. That's your favorite? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Jack, is that your favorite ride? Well, maybe, yeah. My second favorite. So wet. 
wet. My butt is wet. What? Is your butt wet? Oh, uh, it's awesome. Awesome, you're so serious. Look how serious awesome is. That's <laughs> We hope you guys had fun watching those clips from our vacation, and that's what we want this next contest to be about. We yeah. want you guys to draw your favorite vacation that you ever went on, mm -hmm. or it could be a vacation that you really want to go on. Have your parents take a photo of your art and then post it to either Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Yes. Also tag us in it and then use the hashtag AFKH VK VK16. VK is short for vacation. Yeah. Obviously. Uh-huh. We're gonna pick four winners. Two that are eight and under, and then two that are over eight. Be sure to get your entries posted before this coming Sunday because we're gonna go through the all of the entries on Sunday and then we're gonna announce the winner next Monday. Mm -hmm. And the very last thing that we wanna make sure that you know is where do they have to live to enter? Anywhere. Yeah, anywhere on this planet you can enter this contest. You could be in a wormhole right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> so get drawing and we can't wait to see your art. All right, dude. Well, we still need to show the slideshow, don't we? Yeah. All right, let's do it right now. <laughs>